St. Patrick's Day is almost here, but some Irish events have already happened. Our reporter Tegan Brown is live from Tip Hill with more on Green Beer Sunday. Tegan. Chilean Ashley, good evening from Tip Hill, but more importantly, from Coleman's Bar. This place looked pretty different just a few days ago on Sunday when there were tons of people outside decked out in their green, just like I've got on right now, and they were all coming out to celebrate Green Beer Sunday. I got to speak with many of them about their experience for the day. Approximately a sixth of Syracuse claims to have Irish ancestry, and that claim makes it the most Irish city in all of New York State. But on Sunday, more than just the Irish population was celebrating the culture. It's, it's really great, and especially today's weather. It's, it's such a beautiful day. Um, I'd love to see it, as many people as there are out here. Green Beer Sunday brought thousands of people to Coleman's on Tippery Hill. It was the first time since before the pandemic that many people considered the event normal again. I mean, this hasn't happened in a few years. I mean, it happened, but not like a traditional Green Beer Sunday. So energy, energy is hot. There's a lot of people downtown and we're just ready to party and drink green beer. The line for a pitcher of green beer went all the way down the road at times, and some people were simply not willing to wait. We didn't want to go through the crowd. I mean, it, I, I get it, but no. <laughs> Sorry. While there were over a thousand people that were at the event, there was one important figure who was not. Peter Coleman, the owner of the bar, passed away at the end of August, but many still felt he was there. I think his spirit's still alive and it really is carrying on and everybody really appreciates what's happening up here in Tip Hill. There were plenty of people that came on Sunday for a good time, but there were also others that wanted to remember this important Syracuse figure. I am absolutely floored at the support that they have given to Coleman's for Peter Coleman and a beautiful day. While Peter Coleman was not able to be there, Green Beer Sunday still brought an energetic and positive environment, even if it wasn't the same as in the past. And, um, it's just a, it's a special year. It's a really it's um, it's different than the previous years. The Irish in Syracuse always like a good celebration. I mean, myself included. But there are going to be plenty of more St. Patrick's Day activities happening throughout Syracuse within the next few weeks leading up to the holiday. Reporting live from Tip Hill, Tegan Brown, Citrus TV News.